Screen! 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 This is gonna be the Stam Crow 40k health cheese build right here. And um yeah, man, this is going to be the best way to set it up, man. I done tried all type of ways. I done tried Dizzy Swing. I done tried all type of different variations of it. But uh, this is going to be it. Now, this this one, believe it or not, going to be a little different. I'm going to do less talking more and more. Uh, I'm going to show more clips, actually on this one but anyway like we always do let's get started for the people who already know how to set their own stuff up let's start with the gear <clears throat> now we got way of the fire uh, I'm rocking two swords for the damage one damage glyph penetration and the other oblivion damage with charge status effects so we doing a little bit of both dots and, and some damage. But the main way to use this weapon is uh, we using this for uh, we using this to get raw front, front damage, believe it or not. And I'll tell you how to do that later in the video. Way of fire, as you can see, you get that crit chance. Now pay attention to that crit chance because that's going to help us with something else in this build. We're going to talk about that. Get a little bit of extra stamina, you get that weapon damage. It's awesome. Now at the bottom is what you want to focus on. When you deal damage with a weapon, you deal an additional blank flame damage. This could occur every two seconds. Now let's buff up and check that. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. Look at that. And you can even boost that even further, depending, you know, different variables. But, uh, you know, every two seconds you're doing the extra flame damage. Now damage with the weapon that means light attack heavy attack bash or literally any uh weapon damage ability any one of your weapons that you pick that does damage any of these abilities that does damage it'll proc it so pretty damn good and that even means elemental weapon as well so now i didn't try frost staff but you can use a frost staff back bar if you want to use elemental weapon. Uh, but uh, I'm going with sword and board. But anyway, one trainee and we rocking three wear the fire and one heavy zone. So we'll talk about that later. Anyway, so we got four heavy, one medium zone, and one light snake of the stars. Now, that we mentioned Snake of Stars. Let's talk about the back bar. First of all, I am using no pose, uh, poison on the front bar because I want my enchants to proc oblivion and weapon damage. Now on the back bar, I am using double dot poison for that extra uh, pressure. Now, Snake of the Stars is the second set back bar. Let's read what that do. I'm not too fond of the magic, but it's a light armor set, so you get magic recovery, you get magic and the extra damage, which is good. Applying a major or minor debuff buff to an enemy applies star venom for four seconds. Magic was only four seconds and occur every 12 seconds. So that's what, you can do the math on that. Uh, 12 minus four, that's, that's, that's the cooldown. Whenever an enemy with star venom is healed, they take blank oblivion damage every point one second and obviously an enemy can't only be affected every 12 seconds so look when they get when you apply a debuff on your target any debuff in the game um and they try to heal themselves they're going to be taking this oblivion damage oblivion damage is non-blockable damage so that's why i said on your back bar you could go ice staff defending trait obviously uh ice staff so you'll run your elemental uh weapon and you know that gives uh that actually gives, look, that actually, look at the bottom of that. Every seven seconds you get burning, chilled, and concussion status effects. You know, so uh, that procs your snake and the stars. And then your champion tree, if you want to run that, here, read this. Increase offensive penetration for every uh, status effect, right? 
So I just showed you, man, you get three status effects, three status, four, including major breach, you get four status effects just by pressing one button. Plus as a necromancer, you, you're giving them, uh, with your blast bones, you're giving them a major deep owl, that's another one, and you're giving them major vulnerability, that's another one. So I mean, you could do the math on how much penetration you got if you want to set that up. But me personally, I go with sword and board back bar um, to be a little more tanky, uh, defending trait and divines. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, my jewelry, uh, snake in the stars, all weapon damage and uh, stand recovery. Now, I am using Mark of Majesty on this build. I'm sorry, this is the go-to right now. Uh, you get that extra 200 damage and that 2,000 armor, which is really good to put us a cap again. And um, yeah, so way of fire, snake of the stars. Now, I'm not gonna say this Zons is a bread and butter, but mind you, we got four heavy, oh, one, two, three, four, five heavy, sorry. Uh, including our trainee. We got five heavy. Trainee gives a lot of extra health. Five trainee, one light, and one medium. But anyway, Zons. So imagine I told you, uh, pay attention to that crit chance you get from this, from way of the fire. Zons, you also get some crit chance, but look, when you deal critical damage with a light or heavy attack, you get, you have a 33% chance to uh, tether to your uh, enemy for 10 seconds. And uh, basically the longer you're tethered to them, the uh, the stronger it is. And Magic it gives them a burning status effect with which goes with our CP here to get that extra penetration. So keep that in mind if you wanna use that, I don't. But anyway, this is the build. Pretty much cheese, man. It pretty much runs itself. Uh, I am using our Tam Broth for this build. That's what I'm using. You can run what you want, but that's what I'm using. Potions, uh, pots, man. It's pretty self explanatory. We ain't finna do all that. But uh, anyway, let's go to the champion tree really quickly. Simple, pretty simple. I got on armor, I got my health my recovery, and of course my major protection whenever I'm stunned to fear. Green tree, only important thing really here is your movement speed and your mount speed. Blue tree, all right, pretty simple. I got ball work on for the extra resistance. I got my crit resistance. As you can see, I got Untamed aggression for weapon damage. Now, me personally, I'm going with Master at Arms for my spammable, and we're about to talk about that in a second. But uh, to do more upfront damage, you could do some more dot damage if you want. You could do crit. It's pretty much a flex spot, but that's what I got. Uh, and, and again, like I said, you could go in here and get your uh, Force of Nature. But uh, you're definitely going to have to have your resistances and your weapon damage. But uh, you can either go force of nature or uh, get some extra damage like that. But anyway, this is what I'm rocking. Yeah, man, let's talk about the skills. Now the skills, let's talk about this first, man. Procking way of fire with uh, a weapon ability. Quick cloak. This is Necromancer. We don't have major or minor brutality or major or minor expedition. So we got to fit all that in our bar. Quick cloak. Major expedition for four seconds. But mind you, look, if you can read it, we're constantly proccing uh, damage, which will keep our way of the fire active uh, without even trying. This is our spammable. This is, this is what you want to spam the most. Uh, that damage uh, for execute and also uh, it, it look it gives another status effect hermitage so there's plenty of status effects in um, 
But also, this is our, our main damage ability. You want to spam it as much as you can. Get that uh, damage on them. Proc that way of fire. And uh, yeah, you, this, this is why I said I'm focused more on upfront damage. Now, let's just go straight to the back bar because the front bar, we're going to have to talk about that a bit. Back bar, major and minor breach. This is how we proc our brutality, degeneration, and as you know, uh, bigger, our ghost, and our uh, major resolve. And spell wall, reflect all projectiles back for seven seconds. Really OP to get you out of those sticky situations. All right, front bar, as I said, 80% of the time, keep your blast bones up, putting that major defile on them, and uh, yeah, OP Burst Hill. I talked about this almost every video. It gets you to 100 real quick. You get spell physical resistance. Fear. Now, the problem with Necromancer, we don't really have a lot of good stuns. I mean, I tried to do uh, my totem, but I mean, like, who's going to sit there and stand in the totem and get feared? But this fear is on activation, so it's pretty good. And what you want to do is pair this up with your Colossus, and you want to pair it up with your Spammable. You can fear them, and while they fear, you can start spamming them with this, with Rending Slashes. Or you can fear them and go into a Colossus, which they should die. That's how you execute. When they get low, fear them and go to a Colossus. Now, why I say that is, and your Grave Lord ability, Increases your critical strike chance against enemy under 25% health. So this is how you get to execute off with no execute. Uh, Necromancer has no execute. So that's how we do that. Um, so that's pretty much the build. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, this one's going to be quick. I'm going to show more, uh, more um, clips. <coughs> so... Uh, I guess I got a little bit of time left. Uh, again, you want, this is why I say you want to keep your blast bones up 80% of the time. Um, while active, you know, your spell and penetration uh, goes up. Look, damage over time. <laughs> yeah, man. You can read the passes on your own time. I'm sure y'all. Y'all got it. We're not really using no corpse abilities. So that's why I didn't discuss this. Keep your ghost up as much as you can. As you can see while active, 10% uh, of the damage you take is transferred to the ghost, which is really good. But on top of that, you get extra magic and stem recovery. Now let's check that out. So my magic is, look, look it's really low. I only got 1,000 stem recovery. But when I pop my ghost, it goes to 12. And whenever you pop any of these pots, you know, you get that uh, endurance. So, see, it goes up to 15. And that's where any pot is going to have that. So, not any pot, but most of the pots you pop. All right. <clears throat> Let's get to the stats. Um, the stats ain't too, too crazy. Let's start off with the back bar, base stats. As you can see here, physical uh Spam resistance, it's all right. 5K weapon damage on back bar, which is really good. So, I mean, you see that weapon crit is 27 on back bar, 30 on front bar, which is uh is gonna help us proc our zones. But anyway, let's go ahead and buff up. We're overcapped by a lot. So we overcap with our spell resistance by 2,000 and we overcap by 1,000 with our physical resistance. Cap is 32,000. So, yeah. Let's buff up. So, this is pretty much going to be the stats. Proc our brutality. This is back bar stats. And this is front bar stats. Buff up one more time. Fully buff. This will be my front bar stats when we pop a potion. Sorry. This is what you're working with. 28k front bar resistances, man. 
which is really good because we get that uh, from our Mark of Majesty ring. So, um, yeah, man. Uh, our penetration for the guys who eyeballing that base, this is what it looked like based. The guys who are eyeballing the penetration, let's go ahead and buff that up for them. Now, as you can see, we got 3K. But when we use Blast Bones, it goes up to four. So, uh, like I said, that's what we're gonna be working with. If you got a problem with penetration, here, Force of Nature, um, status effects, you get 660 for every status effect. And let's go over each status effect we're putting on them with this build. And you can count as we go along. We got Major Defile. We got Hermitage, Hermorage, Hermorage, however you say that word. Um, we got Major Vulnerability, Major Vulnerability. I cannot talk. We got minor and major breach with both they both count because they're different one uh, abilities and, um, and also from zons we have burning so that's six so you could do 660 plus six I'm trying to see if i'm missing anything 660 plus six Time six, sorry. So we get an extra 4K. So we'll have about eight penetration. That's why I said if you want to use elemental weapon, we could do the math together. So we drop a minor breach to pick up basically burning, chill, and concussion. So plus two more. 660 plus 660 660 so it'll be almost 5k now so that means we'll be at about nine about nine thousand penetration <clears throat> but yeah that's pretty much the build now how you want to work this build see how i proc that so you want a light attack weave if you don't know what light attack weaving is, that means after every ability, you uh, do a light attack. So after every running slash, I'll try to get a light attack in and park my Zons. You want to keep, you want to keep your uh, shrapnel up, your quick cloak up at all times. And keep blast bones up at all times. On this build, unfortunately, you have to keep your buffs up. You want to just keep everything up. Spear trap them and get the spammer. That's how that worked. Pretty simple. Now, with fear, with fear on turn evil, for some reason you have to be, like you have to be positioned facing this, uh, the opposite direction, you gotta be behind them for it to work very properly. But you'll do that easily once you pop your quick cloak. Bam, get behind them real quick and get the spammer. Going for execute fear and then get the spammer. They should die just like that. See, that's not the injury. See how my uh, Zons pop? Pretty simple, man. Pretty simple, pretty aged. And um, that's the build, man. Say, I'm going to go ahead and show a few clips right now. Uh, didn't want to spend too much time. But uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, but I guess I got a little bit of time. I do want to add some comments, man. I want to talk about the. I want to talk about the state of Necromancer right now. It's it's horrible. I'm not even gonna go off and get mad. I'm, if y'all know me and see my videos, you already know what I'm thinking. And uh. Yeah, it's trash. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Matter of fact, speaking about it, it suck. I am using the Warrior Munderstone. Just wanted to throw that out there. Um, yeah, Necromancer fucking sucks, yo. I mean, I mean, it's trash. We don't have a 
major or minor brutality. We don't have a fucking exp expedition. We're slow as shit and we run out of resources fast. It's ways to keep your resources up. I talked about it before. It's, 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 it's mediocre. A fucking skeleton only lasts fucking 20 seconds and he doesn't, he don't really do sh He don't do shit. He don't do shit. The only thing this bitch good for, and they can go ahead and put me on yellow for monetization. I don't care. Um, he's good for proccing your, your your dismember penetration. But I mean, I personally feel like instead of uh, one morph, a Goliath should turn you into him, and the other morph should uh, he should be able to. You should be able to summon him and he should be able to follow you and fight for you. But, uh, yeah, man. We, we, we don't really have much. Uh, most other classes actually have extra weapon damage, but we get extra health. I mean, it's good, but I mean, if that said two or three thousand, I'd be happy. But, uh, from last gas, but anyway, most classes like Templar sort they actually have extra weapon damage and spell damage, but uh, as a passive, but we don't have an execute, which in some cases we don't need one. This is to me, this is the best bombing class, but uh, as far as fighting, we don't have any damage abilities, as you can see here. Scythe is fucking mediocre. Look at that. Scythe is mediocre, man. It's fucking stupid. Uh, blast Bones. It's good pressure. But I mean, what the fuck is that? Right? Uh, these skulls, forget about it. Bone Yard is nerfed. I'm not, I don't have nothing to say about that shit. And I just, we don't have any damage abilities, dog. None. That's why we gotta rely on everything down here to make it work. But, uh, We don't have any damage abilities, man. So hopefully maybe somebody important can see this video and help us, but we need a damage ability, dog. I mean, right now we're relying on weapon abilities. But, uh, yeah, bro. Uh, this bill is cheese, but it's not gonna you still got to be good, a good player to play Necromancer right now, unfortunately. You're not going to, unlike a Night Blade, Stealth Blade, or a Mag Sort where you can just streak away, you're not going to get on the class and see any tremendous difference. But you just got to know what you're doing. I just showed y'all how to do it, so, you know, 80% of the time, get your Blast Bones up. Even if you don't have stamina, get a Blast Bones up. Keep that pressure on them. Put a fear trap behind them. Bam, bam. Keep your shrapnels up. Keep your buffs up. Shit. If you want to, you can even go with the uh, the pet. But you know, I use I use pierce uh, pierce armor. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, practice as much as you can. Find a buddy to duel with. This is gonna be the best way. This is gonna be the most cheesiest and best way to uh, to do this here. My character sheet, I got 51 in health, 12. Stamina one in magic, that's how I got 40K health. You can see my enchants here. And, uh, I am an Imperial, by the way, because I love Imperial. Reduce cost of all your abilities, red diamond. Extra health, extra stamina. I love it. Extra gold. I'm a black guy with tattoos and gold chains, man, with with my Nike ski mask, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, y'all. Shit.
Hey, that fire from Zons.
What the hell? I didn't see a dumb in a long time. Fuck this bitch for some of my demons. <laughs> Help me kill these assholes. I'm over here, bitch. Help me kill these assholes. I summon my demons. I always wanted to do this. No, get them, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> 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 Don't get the red, bitch. Yeah, get him. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, get out. Oh, fuck him. Get him, too. Yeah, but I always wanted to do that, bro. Summon some demons on these niggas. Yeah, get that. Hey, get him. <laughs> Let him get me. Get it. Just die, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for being a good sport. I <laughs> like him. Bye. Come on, get the AC. Say that. See what happens. See if I can use that.
Yeah, this is the dude that kept bothering me.
doing a really good job. Right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> 